So there are many different ways to synthesize research. We're gonna share a few that are sort of at the, the heart and soul of the UX design process. Um, and we'll focus, um, we'll focus on these in particular, and then we can share some resources where you can learn about other types of, of synthesis. But um, the three that we wanna do a deep dive into are um, insights or affinity mapping. Those are some, some of these terms are sort of interchangeable. Um, some are, are sort of different. Um, journey or experience maps, and then personas or archetypes. And so we'll, we'll focus in um, on these three types of research synthesis. Um, so the first piece, and this is, um, you know, sort of a preview of the activity, one activity that we've already done um, at, at our first class and the activity that we'll focus on um, at the end of class today. Um, but affinity maps, often sometimes called insights maps, um, are a really, really great way to start to document the research insights and then go through this sort of clustering activity where you start to group types of insights together. Um, so what we're looking at on the right here is, um, and this is what the activity will show, um, but this is an affinity map that has sort of been organized, right? Things that are similar have been pulled together. And then you can start to see what sorts of patterns or themes, right? These sort of labels, um, that have been assigned to these groups of insights. It's really important when you're doing affinity mapping to start first with just the research insights and not having predefined categories. That's really, really critical. If we have predefined categories that we're then putting insights into, we're not letting the research sort of reveal itself, right? And, and those sort of themes bubble up from the information itself. So. We'll demonstrate this in a little bit around, you know, where to start and how to work towards this sort of synthesis. But um, what this is really helpful in doing is again, sort of letting the research reveal these moments of synergy, these sorts of patterns. Um, and then these can be high level insights that we can walk away with. We can see, all right, what are some of these constraints that have emerged? What are some of these, you know, the nuance around, you know, tech comfort and access to technology? 